We're back to action. Hey everyone, it's Hashima, the Silver Psycho Ranger. Oh, uh, I bet you weren't expecting me to look like this. Well, at long last, you get to see who I really am behind my ranger form. But that's not the only thing. I've been a part of the Retro Reject crew for so long, but at the same time, I feel like I've barely done anything to justify my inclusion. I pale in comparison to someone like Titanosaurus, who is so full of fun and, and unpredictable. A guy who is guaranteed to make you guys laugh. Let's not forget Mechagodzilla. A very sensible guy who doesn't mind following along with the crazy plans of the day. Not to mention having an undying devotion to his friends. Finally, Nala? She can get a bit out of control with her crush for the Retro Reject. But she still has a heart of gold with loyalty to a fault. Then... There's me. You probably only know me as the Silver Psycho Ranger, who only shows up in videos to help beat the enemy of the week. And that's it! I can't help but feel guilty about it, because I owe you guys so much more than that! You shouldn't be forced to love me just because I'm connected to the Retro Reject crew. That is why I'm putting the mask I have been hiding behind away, and to show you guys who I really am and what my friends and I are capable of. This is the story of the SHS Squad. I won't be able to share all my secrets with you today, but I promise, in due time, they will be revealed. With that being said, I guess the best place to start my story is when we thought it was going to be our final adventure. I traveled back in time to help the Retro Reject crew defeat Kiru at the cost of Mechagodzilla sacrificing himself to save us. The Retro Reject let me use the imagination box so I could return to my real home. Okay guys, you just hang out in the imagination box for a little bit. I just need to make sure that nobody notices. Oh so well, it's about time you got back. Oh, great, Lenagger, right on cue. Hashima, you know how I feel about these things. You running off somewhere in the imagination box without you telling me first. Well, okay, I had to go back in time to help somebody out. And I mean, look at me, I came back in one piece, I'm fine. And I think you, of all people, should have known I had to go back in time. Well, it doesn't excuse it. I want to hear an apology from you. <sighs> okay. I'm sorry that I used the imagination box without you telling telling you first. And I want to hear you say the other thing. What? No, 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 I'm not going to say it. And I'm, I'm not a little kid anymore. Hashima. <sighs> okay. And I love you, Mom. Oh, all right. I can't stay mad at you. But go ahead, tell me about your little adventure, sweetie. Hot diggity dang, that is one heck of a twist. Wait a minute, Zeton, you can talk? Out of all the things that this adventure has shown us, I think that one is what blows my mind the most. Uh, I mean... Wait, really? Y you guys didn't know Nala was my mom? Huh. And I thought I was being pretty obvious with it. Uh, but anyway, I'll tell you about it later, Mom. I, I actually got to return back to the cross-dimensional task force to report on my, my time travel mission. Oh, well, all right. Just try not to take too long. Wait, wait, wait a minute. This isn't the future, Hashima? Yeah, I thought you were taking us to the future because that's where your job is. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, what? Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't the future, guys. Uh, I just needed to make a quick stop here at the Pride Lands to drop off the Imagination Box, since it does belong to Nala now, since the Retro Reject left it to her. Alright, I got another way of getting back to the fu my future. Well, uh, alright. Well, uh, okay, I can't wait to see what the future actually is. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Beat me back home, Scotty. Uh, Hishima, you know I'm not Mr. Scott, right? I'm getting sick and tired of you calling me that. Uh, but yes, anyway, I'm sending you back now. I didn't expect to bring those three along, uh, but Hishima, are you sure it's safe because our database shows that those three have worked for Kiru? Yes, I'm sure it's safe, Mr. Sulu. I mean, you know me better than that. I wouldn't bring a couple of guys I didn't trust back here to our headquarters. Yeah, so think before you say something next time. Exactly, because all three of us are not like Waluigi. <laughs> Well, all right then. Anyway, you can go see the captain now for your debriefing. Yes, of course. I was just about to head that way. All right, just stay right behind me, guys. Elite member Hashima reporting back, Captain. My mission was successful. Ah, uh, Hashima, my most trusted and loyal soldier. Welcome back from your time travel mission. Wait a minute. Why'd you bring three of Kiro's former henchmen with you? Oh, well, you see, Captain, I knew there would be no harm brought to the timeline if I brought them back here. And since they have been reformed and no, are no longer part of Kiro's team, I was hoping that we could find them a place here at the Cross-Dimensional Task Force, maybe even as their own squad. That's right, Mr. Oswald. We're eager to help in any way we can. Um, wait a minute, you guys. Um... How exactly did a rabbit become a captain? This is a really weird future. Don't shut up, you guys. You want us to be fired before we even started? Ah, well, that makes sense. Well, we'll try to find him a spot here at the CDTF. Now, come on, walk with me, boy. We'll debrief about the mission. Yes, sir, Captain Oswald. All right, you guys can just hang out here. I'll come back and tell you guys what you're doing here from now on. I'll just once I finish debriefing with the captain. Alrighty then, now that we're in my office, just please demorph Hashima so that we can begin your debriefing about your mission. Right. Power down. Yeah. All right. Well, here's my debriefing, Captain. I'm glad to say that my mission was a, was a success, but Kira was destroyed by Mechagodzilla sacrificing himself to save everybody, and Nala, the Retro Reject, and Titanosaurus are all still alive, and I only got involved oh, mainly for defense when it was absolutely necessary. Ah, excellent work, Hashima! You obeyed your orders well, and the timeline gets to continue on as normal. Just what I expected from my top operative. Well... Um, uh, uh, thank you for your appreciation, Captain, but I don't think I deserve it. I, I felt like I, I could have done so much more. I mean, I understand that my orders were to only protect Nala and the Retro Reject, but I could have been more involved with the final battle with Kiru, or I could have done something to prevent Mechagodzilla from getting destroyed. But there was just something going on with me. I'm really sorry. Ah, yes. 
I understand that, Hashima. But don't fret over it. There'll be plenty of more time travel missions for you, so you can go help the Retro Reject more. Wait, really? I get the chance to see them again? No, th thank you, Captain. This is awesome. Actually, there is another thing I did want to ask. Um, could there be a chance that I get to teach Alien Knackle, Zeton, and Bolton the, the ropes of being a part of the cross-dimensional task force? Well, um, you see, Hashima, that's the second order of business we need to discuss. I can't put you in a squad with Alien Knackle, Alien Bolton, and Zeton, because I already have plans for you to be in your own squad. In fact, You'll be one of the testing participants for our division's very first elite squad. What? what? An elite squad? What? Captain, are you sure that's a good idea? I mean, I've only been here for several months. Once and I've only worked solo missions. Is it really a good idea to put me in with the team? Well, think of it this way, Hashima. As I said before, you're one of my best operatives within the cross-dimensional task force. Putting you with a rookie squad would just be a waste of your abilities. And ever since the discovery of cross-dimensional travel by your friend the Retro Reject, and with him sharing that information with the government to allow for cross-dimensional travel, more characters from different dimensions cross over with each, each and every passing day. Now, albeit not every single one of these characters is bad in any single way, there are those few who will slip between the cracks only to cause trouble, and to become more bold with their plans and more dangerous. We need more squads to have a handle on these criminals, and I believe you are one of those people, Hashima. Yes, I understand that, Captain, but... You know I am a Psycho Ranger, and the things I'm really capable of, and <sighs> that's the thing. While I was on my mission, it felt like it was trying to take control, and it's been getting stronger. What if I lose control when I'm with this new team? don't want to hurt anybody, Captain. Be that as it may, I still have a lot of faith in you, Hashima. You've always had a handle on your power. And I see a lot of goodness in you, more so than bad. And you can share that goodness with the rest of the world by doing what you do. So please, we need you. Okay, I'll give it a shot. I'll be willing to do anything to prove my worth. Thank you, Rashima. Now your new teammates will be arriving tomorrow, so you'll get introduced to them then. But as for now, I want you to have the rest of the day off since you still need time to recuperate from your latest mission. But arrive early tomorrow morning so we can get started. You can count on me, Captain. I will be here. See you bright and early tomorrow, Hashima! You know, I expected to find you out here. Oh, uh, hey, Mom. Sorry if I worried you. I... I just needed to be alone. To, you know think about some things. It's all right, sweetie. I wasn't worried. I just wanted to find you so we could spend some time together, since we get so little of it now. I do have to agree with you, though. It is very peaceful out here. Is something bothering you, Hashima? You usually don't spend as much time away from Pride Rock. Is it something you're willing to talk about? Mom, I think you know better than anybody the reason why I don't stay. I'm not really that welcome here. 
I know, sweetie. I just wish the other lionesses could see you the same way I do. Well, it's for their own good, Mom. The last thing they need is somebody like me becoming another Scar. Hashima, don't say things like that! You're not gonna become like Scar. You're better than that. Well, it's kinda hard not to think that way. I don't look exactly like a normal lion cub. And this symbol doesn't really help that fact either. What if they're right? You're not evil, Hashima. I've been raising you the best that I can. And you're the best son a mother could ask for. And I mean, look at you now. Ever since you left the Pride Lands, you've been helping people in the real world with your, your power. You're stronger than the things that tempt you. But what if I'm not, Mom? I was barely able to keep my power under control earlier today during my first time travel mission. The Retro Reject never had a problem with these things. He always knew how to lead you, Titanosaurus, and Mechagodzilla. And even me. I wanted to ask him so badly how he does it. But now the cross-dimensional task force is asking me to lead a squad of my own. But what if they see me how everybody else does? As some sort of monster. Sweetie. There's a saying I learned that could really do you some good. It goes, Hashima ni kitu chapure. Weird. I've never heard that saying before. What does it mean? Respect is a free thing. Essentially means that nobody owes each other respect. And neither does it cost anything either. So you might as well just show it. If you show them that you're the good lion I know you to be, then we'll turn that respect and kindness to you. You have the capability of being a good leader, Hashima. <laughs> it's also the reason why you got your name. Respect is the key. <laughs> I guess it's a better saying than Hakuna Matata. Where did you learn it from? <laughs> You'd be surprised. I learned it from the Retro Reject. Wait, really? <laughs> yes, really. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> You're welcome, sweetie. Well, we better get back to Pride Rock. They're probably wondering where we are. And besides, the little cub needs his rest for his big day tomorrow. Yeah, I guess you're right. I do want to be well rested for tomorrow. And besides, I haven't hit, even had my 20 hours of sleep yet. <laughs> All right, come on, sweetie. Let's go home. I love you, Mom. I love you too, Hashima. The next morning. <clears throat> uh, good morning, Mr. Freeze. Good morning, Dr. Vomi. Um, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, Hashima, you're here a bit early. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It is still very good to see you. Thanks. Um, do you guys know where the captain is? I'm supposed to find him so I can be introduced to my new squad. Well, actually, Captain Oswald is currently in the observation room with some other high-ranking members of our division. And he assigned us to be the ones to introduce you to your new teammates. It's, and the reason why he's there is because once the introductions are done, the three of you will undergo just a little test. Oh, okay. I, I am a little nervous, but I'm very eager to get started. So, uh, where are they? Oh, there's no real reason to worry, Hashima. Yes, this is more so just a formality. The captain, as well as us in the science, science and medical department, want to just see how the three of you are in action, as well as analyze your skills for future reference. Now, Dr. Vomi? Yes, of course. You can send them in. 
Hashima, allow us to introduce you to your new teammates. To your left is Asuda Shino, codename Sinon. When she recently got promoted to an elite member within the Japan Division of the Cross Dimensional Task Force, and she has 34 completed missions. And much like yourself, Hashima, but she's mainly gone on solo missions. Uh, but she mainly specializes in using a long range attack with her choice of weapon, the sniper rifle. And to your right is Dark Screen. He came from our space defense section of the CDTF and was assigned to the Mobius Squadron. He too was an elite member, and as well was the second in command of the Decepticon aerial unit. And so he does have a little bit of team experience, but his team was a bit more, how you say, rough around the edges. Well, Michelle and Starscream, allow me to introduce you to Hashima. He's only been a member of the Cross Dimensional Task Force for about 10 months, but in that time span, he's already risen to the ranks of elite member, with 57 completed missions under his belt. He's the firstborn son of Nala, the Queen of the Pride Lands, as well as member of the Retro Reject crew, in which he is a partial member of, of that team as well. Well, Asuna and Starscream, I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance. The same can be said for us. Though, there's just one thing. From what my boss told me, and just from what I'm seeing right now, I don't really understand what the hype is about you. Yes, I am a little skeptical as well. How exactly did a lion cub rise to the rank of an elite member? Oh, ho, ho, ho. he is more than just a lion cub. Yes, go ahead and show them, Hishima. <sighs> right. Let's go, Psycho! So, um, does this answer your question? Hmm, impressive. I, ne I never thought I would see the day that I would meet an actual ranger. A psycho ranger at that, Sanon. Yes, just what we needed. Now that introductions are out of the way, we can get to the main event, which is the first test of our division's first elite squad, and you will be known as the SHS Squad. The SHS Squad? What, what does that even mean? Wait, 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 wait a minute. That's just our names and an acronym. You guys seriously couldn't come up with a better squad name for us than that? We were pressed for time. Maybe it'll change in the future, for, but for right now, that's what we're going with. Uh, but anyway, Dr. Freeze, I better go to the observation room so we can begin to set up for our analysis. Yes, you go do that, Dr. Homie. I can handle these three. Now, will you all follow me? All right, SHS squad, step into the simulation chamber. We will conduct your first test. Well, uh, all right, Freeze, but what exactly are we doing? In this simulation, as I said before, the priority will be to observe how well each of you do as a unit. You'll be facing up against one enemy. Now, usually, the priority would be to capture the enemy alive. But in this case, we will deem this subject as a highly dangerous enemy that needs to be destroyed. Now, come on! Why do we have to be wasting our time fighting against some digital programming instead of actually going out into the real world and taking some criminals down? Well, Starscream, for each of you, it is your first time working together with others. We don't know what to expect. So, running the risk of a field test could possibly endanger innocent lives. Now, are there any other questions I need to clarify? No, nope, you're pretty clear, Freeze. And uh, we'll try to give you guys a good show up there. Excellent. Good luck, SHS squad. All right, Captain. The SHS squad are in place. Shall I start the simulation? Yes, you may, Mr. Freeze. All right, SHS squad. Your battle simulation begins now. Make me proud. Well, it looks like we're dealing with a Bem Star. I've never had to take down one of these guys before. Neither have I, Asuda, but I think between the three of us, we should be able to defeat it. 
Now, I think how we should go about this. Shut up. I have waited far too long in the shadow of my peers, and I am not going to let some psycho ranger tell me what to do. This is my time to shine. Okay, you two can argue all you want about strategy. I'm going to go find a better vantage point for my laser rifle, because it works better at a distance anyway. Well, no, guys, we got well, I guess it doesn't matter how we do it. It is quite unusual that they're splitting off this early. Wait, this is supposed to be a team effort, right? It's still very early in the simulation, Lieutenant Jenny. Just give them time, they'll eventually get it. Yeah. Even though, like I've said guys, I never had to fight one of these things before, but I do know what they're capable of. You see, the Pentagon opening on its abdomen, it's used to absorb energy shots. So obviously blasters will be ineffective against it. And if you do shoot at it at its abdomen, it's gonna just rejuvenate itself. Or in some cases, if it's already at full power, it's just gonna become stronger. Really, your only chance at weakening it is either shooting at it from behind or just use melee attacks. Well, thanks for the tips, Sinon. Uh, whatever. Either one of you, just give me a clear shot. Not if I take him down first. Starscream, just let me handle this. I'm more skilled at melee combat. <laughs> he's taken to the air, Psycho Ranger. So now he's in my element. Looks like it's up to me now to shoot him down. your help. I don't need any of my teammates saving me. I know how to take a fall. So next time, maybe you should... Yeah, I'm coming. Huh, Hashima! I have to agree with Ace on this one. Starscream seems to be the instigator. If he doesn't shape up, it might cost them their victory. Their personalities were what made them great fighters on their own, but putting them together is bound to cause a power struggle. I'm starting to think you should have kept them as solo members instead of trying to make them to an elite squad captain. I'm watching this too, everybody. Yes, they are making mistakes, but they haven't failed yet. They still have a chance to recover. Yeah, 
All right, I'm back in business. Come on, Hashima, give me a good shot. And gotcha. You have got to be kidding me. Hashima, why did you stand in my way? I had him. Well, I'm sorry. I don't look like a deformed bird. I didn't even know you were there. You should have told me you were firing. This is not really going well for them. Are we sure it's a good idea to make them an elite squad team? From the performance I've seen so far, definitely not. Captain, I'm detecting high levels of disconnection between nerve endings within Hashima's prefrontal cortex. He's losing control of Psycho Silver. Captain, may I remind you that if Hashima does lose control of his Psycho Ranger abilities, there's a high likely chance that he will hurt both Masada Shino and Starscream. Your suggestion is noted, Mr. Freeze, but I have faith in Ashima. He's never failed me before. Just keep an eye on his condition, Dr. Romy. Uh, uh, what? How did I... <laughs> Why do you always show up at the worst of times? Worst possible times? Please, by the looks of it, I should have came sooner. Besides, I was not gonna let the pitiful performance you did yesterday happen again. Has it ever occurred to you that I don't need you sometimes? That battle was not mine to fight. It was in the capable hands of both the Retro Reject and Mechagodzilla. Enough with the lecturing, boy! I've already been bored to death by that pathetic excuse that you call a mother! How dare you! My mother is kind, understanding, courageous, and an honorable queen! Ooh, it looks like I struck a nerve there, huh, Mama's boy? She's only holding you back. <laughs> Such a weak kitty. Shut up! She's a far better teacher than you could ever be! Aww, and I thought we were becoming friends. We are not friends. What do you even want this time? Isn't it obvious? We can easily walk all over this human girl and robot and defeat this simulation. All you have to do is let me help like I've done before. Then, we will get the respect that we deserve. Help? No, I'm not letting you control me again. Ever since you showed up, your help has done nothing but ruin my life. Thanks to you, I lost my right to become the next king. You ruined my image of Simba by revealing that he's not even my real father. And you caused the death of my grandmother. Oh, boo-hoo, get over it, boy. You seem to be forgetting why you and I were bound together in the first place. Your father's intentions for you were very clear. I was sent to save your life because you were always and forever will be weak. And I will be sure you will fulfill your destiny. So, if you won't do this willingly, then you leave me no choice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now, let's complete the fusion. 
kid wouldn't be able to keep his power under control. It was only a matter of time. You're damn right. I mean, it's the biggest reason why he's a great member of the CDTF. But at the same time, a big risk. If you ask me, he's much more the latter than the former. No, don't end the simulation just yet! I need Hashima to calm down before bringing him back! Maybe they can find a way to work this out. They need to become a good team. <laughs> what do you second-rate hacks think of me now? Now that I'm at my full potential. Did I disappoint you? Yes. Oh, don't worry, Psycho Ranger. You did disappoint me. Because you have proven all my assumptions about you were correct. You're an out-of-control freak who thinks he's better than all of us. Seriously, you didn't need to go that far, Hashima. In fact, you were the one insisting on us working together to destroy that BEM star, but then you go do it by yourself? Like, what is wrong with you? Silence, you fools! I'm just about had it with you not giving me the respect I deserve and constantly pushing me down. My powers far exceed the both of you combined. But if you think you got what it takes to finish me off, then step up if you dare, because I'm ready for a fight. Well then, let's just settle this right here and now, Psycho Ranger. You and me. Then so be it. <laughs> No way I'm going to be defeated by the likes of you! You can shoot all you want, Zenon, but you won't be able to take me down. <laughs> Hashima, you gotta get a hold of yourself! Oh, hold on! Your call can't be taken at the moment because Hashima's not here! So let's end this! Captain, he's completely lost it! We have to pull them out! Yes, this has gone too far. Yes, this test has long since been over. 
There's no point in losing valuable lives just because you want to prove a point, Captain. Gorawa imasugo awaratsura hitsuyo ga arimatsu! I understand that! Just give them time! Captain, he is going to kill them! Pull them out now! Listen to Kotaro, Captain! Get them out of there! Now they are let go of me, Senna! No! Stop it! I won't let you hurt them! Stay out of this boy! You're under my control now! And the simulation. Right away, sir. Stop trying to fight me, boy! I'm in control here! No! Stop it! Get out of my head! Guys, I'm, I'm so sorry. Hashima, what the hell happened to you out there? What is that to explain, Sinon? He's a Psycho Ranger. They do nothing but cause trouble. How did they even let somebody like you into the cross-dimensional task force? It was an accident, Starscream. The last thing I want is to cause trouble and hurt someone. I don't know what happened. What I do know is that I will gladly put you out of commission for jeopardizing my chance to move up in rank. Oh, will you knock it off, Starscream? The test is over. There's no point in you trying to start a fight again. And look, maybe we still passed. Yeah, I kind of expected this to be the outcome. Well, I mean, hey, there was no harm in keeping our hopes up, right? Now, wait a minute, Captain. I would just like to say that technically this happened because of- Silence! Your Captain is talking! We had picked you guys based on many factors and qualifications, believing that you guys would be the first perfect elite squad within the cross-dimensional task force! But you have proven me wrong and made yourself look like fools in front of me and as well as many other high-ranking members of the cross-dimensional task force. Even though you guys did achieve your objective of destroying the monster, there were many other problems that caused you all to fail. So let's go over them, shall we? Starscream, you were the worst out of everybody in this group because you were just focused on getting all the credit for yourself by destroying the monster. Or then try to make yourself look better in front of the eyes of Hashima! On top of that, you can pick a fight with him! Hashima, I've had a lot of faith in you during this test. And I've especially given you so much leniency, especially in the early stages of your career, on the control of your Psycho Ranger power. I thought you had a control on it at this point. Alright, so now, seeing you lose complete control of yourself during this test is unacceptable! In fact, you're making me even question if sending you out in the field again would be a good idea, because you could become a liability! Finally, Sinon, even though you're the one who caused the least amount of problems within this test, there are still some things I cannot excuse, especially since you two did strike out on your own, albeit not for selfish reasons, but it's still not something you should be doing in a team situation! There was also a lack of communication between your teammates, and you barely did anything to de-escalate the situation that was happening between Hashima and Starscream!
Listen here. I will give you one final chance to prove yourselves tomorrow. If you don't shape up by then, you might as well kiss your careers in the CDTF goodbye. Because this behavior for an elite squad is unacceptable. Yes, we understand, Captain. You have until then. I cannot simply believe that this is happening. My entire career is on the line because I got stuck with useless teammates like you. Okay, you know what, Starscream? You can blame me for everything that went wrong today. But we gotta mend our shortcomings by tomorrow if we want this so-called SHS squad to work. Oh yeah, sure, that's simple enough. I'm not denying the fact that we can work out our differences and become a very functional team. But what I'm skeptical about is what is going to keep you in check from going berserk again. I hate to agree with him. Really, I do. But I also have my skepticism, Hashima. You need, in order for us to trust you, you need to be more open with us about your powers and what exactly it entails. I wish I could, Asura, but it's not as simple as you think it is. I'm not like most other rangers. There's still some things that I don't even understand about my powers. And... Some of it's still too difficult for me to talk about. Well... Then you should really consider quitting before someone gets killed because of you. Look, don't let him get to you, Hashima. I'll try to talk sense into him, and hopefully by tomorrow we'll do better. But I really think you should consider what I said. If you want us to gain our trust, then you need to be more honest. Right. I'll, I'll think about it, Asuda. Okay. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, see ya. What am I going to do? Why? Why out of all people? Why did it have to be me?